From high-speed shaving to high-speed painting, Chinese style. The style isn't the only thing that's different, the materials are. For a start, in place of paint, we have gouache and Chinese ink made of soot from burnt pine wood collected from specially constructed chimneys. The artist on this occasion, as you'll have seen, is not Chinese, but a brilliant young Englishman, Peter Thompson. Remember, we said high speed. Well, some of these pictures exhibited at St George's Gallery in London are seven foot high, yet took only two or three minutes to paint. Although, naturally, the preliminary thought and preparation took much longer. Notice that Thompson paints on a horizontal surface and works in a modification of the Chinese free brush style, which has been described as a kind of controlled action painting. The subjects are generally natural things, although artists of this school seldom paint from life. They study their subject first, perhaps for weeks, and then reproduce them intensely simplified, expressing in graphic lines only the essential qualities or characteristics. Although completely lacking in colour, which most of us have been taught to accept as an essential quality in art, the pictures are refreshingly attractive to Western eyes. Something certainly different is this pair of amorous bicycles, inanimate objects in the guise of living things. This style of painting is helped by the brushes, soft and hand-shaped so that they come to a fine point, often a single hair. Thus, they can produce fine or broad lines according to the artist's stroke. If you're thinking of trying your hand, a useful tip is to ensure that the brush is held more or less vertically so that the shoulder muscles control the drawing. Still, however he does it, the results are pretty good. Yeah. 